All right, so my next storyteller actually has performed at the Electric Pressure Cooker open mic. Please give a nice warm welcome to Marcus Calvert, who will be telling his story, Trifecta. Thank you. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, I call this story a trifecta because of, uh, at least in my opinion, a simple truth. Love is like chicken pox. First time you get it, oh my God. <sighs> Dumped me three times, broke my heart to fourth. Second time, not so bad. Met her right as I met her boyfriend. My best friend waited many a year to date her. Third one, I'm not even gonna go there, <laughs> but it wasn't so bad. I was able to walk away more easily. And when I did, I figured, ah, I'm a writer, what the heck? This is how writers should be, right? Hermetic types, be alone, yada, yada. And uh, this past Christmas, a friend of mine in a writer's group tried to match make me with, try to do a little blind date matchup with a friend of hers. And, we're talking and we're both saying we have nothing in common whatsoever. And I just stepped back and I'm like, okay. I am a strange, hyperly creative geek type person. Where would I look? So I went online and I found a geek dating site. And sure enough, <laughs> on my first, second, third, fourth try, first, first, well, fourth glance there, I found her. I found this woman who is awesome, funny, smarter than I'll ever be, just diabolically awesome my other half, and I don't love her at all. We've dated for almost a year, and I do not love her. She is amazing. I, I would introduce this woman to my mom. If I was not in the middle of so much other stuff, I would marry this woman happily had I not gone through one, two, three loves and heartbreaks and all that crap. It's just, I don't know. Is it too much scar tissue in the soul? I don't know. But I do know this, having been on a receiving end of someone saying, I don't love you. I, I have to take the love she feels towards me like someone gave me a winning lottery ticket. I have to appreciate it. I have to respect it. I have to hold it in my hands like something so beautiful, so fragile, and that is my, that is my only fear, messing it up. I don't know what's scarier, folks. Being madly in love with somebody and feeling those strings on you or Having someone love you and know it, believe it, it's not BS, it's not words, and not having no strings, being that free to just crush them. Yeah. Thanks.